DaVinci Resolve for the iPad has a new update. Now we are talking about version 20.2.1. This update came last night. If you open the DaVinci Resolve here in the App Store and you see here under what's new, you can actually click this one here and it will open the dialogue and you see everything here. If you go even here to what's new, you see all the version history, what they changed. So this one is a very minor one. If we ch check the first one, paste attributes dialogue now retains user selection across copies. This is a feature that was introduced with DaVinci Resolve 20, I guess, and I showed that in my last two videos. If I have here a clip and I come in the inspector and I change some of the values, let's say, for example, I zoom in, I change the rotation. And now and this actually works also here on the cut page. I select this clip and I copy it. So either with, a, with Command and C on your keyboard or you can right click and then say here, copy. Now I can come to a new clip and I select this clip, right click, and I can say here, paste attributes. This will open the attributes window. And in this attributes window, so what is now new is that they introduced here that it recognizes all the settings that you did. So we have the zoom, the scale, the rotation. So you don't have to manually select or deselect them anymore. It recognizes it from the clip. Also what they introduced is this one here. Don't show until next copy. So if I activate this one and I say here apply. Now the settings are applied to this clip. And if I don't copy new attributes, if I still use the same attributes from the first clip, and here's another clip, and I right click and say paste attributes again, it the window doesn't open up. Immediately all of these attributes are applied to this one. So it was working in the past. Um, I guess there was some issues and they fixed that one. Next one, address jitter, jittery playback when scrubbing with the go to mouse cursor. I'm not entirely sure if that is now the new mouse or what this is. So I guess they fixed that one that it's not jittering anymore. Address issue entering Chinese, Japanese or Korean text in multi-text. So I guess they changed that one too. And now voice over beeps now follow monitoring gain, mute and dim settings. This is kind of funny because in my last update video, I mentioned that already, that it's kind of funny that in our iPad version, we still don't have the voiceover feature. Let me double check if we have it here under the shortcuts, no voice over here. So this is a feature that is in the desktop version. I think it was introduced with DaVinci Resolve 1920 or something, I guess with DaVinci Resolve 20 and, but we don't have it. We still don't have it. And now we have iPad OS 26. I made a video about showing you all the menu bars and everything. So definitely check out the other video. Uh, I will link this one up here. But I have to say someone at Blackmagic is a little bit sloppy because they just copied the text from the cut page from the desktop version. And I guess they changed something here, but we don't have it on the iPad. And that was already the same in the past one. So at Blackmagic, I don't know if they're watching my videos, of course, but at Blackmagic, please give us the voiceover feature. That is actually one of the most uh, requested features um, since like the last two years. And I don't know, I can't even defend it anymore. I don't really know why it's not in there. I sometimes say that maybe the, the, like the libraries on Apple devices, like on iPad, makes it hard to make this one work. I was actually hoping with iPad OS 26 that we get this one. And also the last couple of updates, always here writing down something about voiceover, giving the hope for the people that there will be voiceover and we still don't have voiceover. It doesn't mean that you can't do a voiceover. So already two years ago, if you search voiceover, iPad Da Vinci Resolve, I made a video. Let's see if it actually comes up. This one, how to do a voiceover in DaVinci Resolve iPad. So in this video, I explain you how you can do a voiceover just using your iPad. But of course, it doesn't work in DaVinci Resolve. You use another tool, but you don't have to do it on the desktop. You can do it. You can record a voiceover and then bring in the voiceover into DaVinci Resolve. So you can still work on the go and create a voiceover, but it's long overdue. It's two years now since I made this video and I was actually hoping that this was just a temporarily fix because there's other softwares where you can do voiceover. Why does DaVinci Resolve doesn't have something basic like this? And especially since they introduced the simplified voiceover feature, there must be a button here in the cut page to open this and make a voiceover. I can only hope that this is one of the next couple of features that comes with the next couple of updates. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding the bam bang gong. And if you want to bring your editing skill with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad to the next level, I created something that makes you a faster video, to, video editor. In the modern times today, 
it's all about speed. You we create so much content. If you can be faster, that means also that you can live your dream faster and whatever that means for you. For, for some people or for some folks, that means to make more money. But for some people, it's just having more time with their family instead of sitting in front of the editing and editing for hours. So what do I mean? With the iPad DaVinci Resolve Starter Kit, I give you a couple of preset templates and packs, like for example, an animated title pack, a transition pack, a LUTs pack, and also my fonts pack with over 50 fonts that you can use here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. All of this is optimized for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I made this and I created that for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, so it works. And these are the most common tools that I use when I make my videos here for DaVinci Resolve and also for YouTube. So definitely check that one out. And there's also a seven day beginner challenge included, which means that you can, if you're an absolute beginner, you can learn DaVinci Resolve and get some of the basics done. And this is just a no brainer. Definitely check out the link in the description and also in the comment, in the pinned comment post. If you like this video today, and if you want to have voice over in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, please let me know in the comments and so that Blackmagic can also see that this is actually a feature that we want for the iPad. I'm Daniel, I hope you liked this one. Hit like, subscribe, ding a ding and a bam bang gong and we see us in the next video. Bye.